feeling so cold today. My hands are freezing and my feet are freezing. Even my nose is freezing. That's because you're so tall. You stick out above everything. Trees, buildings, mountains. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Hello, everyone. Hi, Gloria. I think we're all very cold. So I bought you some hot chocolate from Chef Jeff's kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, there you go. Andrew, you should stay warmer than the rest of us. Why is that? Hot air rises. <laughs> Can't we laugh at someone else for a minute? <laughs> well, Gloria, do you have a heater? Oh, goodness. Are you that cold? No, not really. I'm fine. You know what? I was thinking about being cold. Can you imagine what it must be like for homeless people or people who don't have the money to keep themselves warm? That's very true. You know, you guys must count yourselves very lucky that you live in warm houses. Some of them can get very sick. And who's there to help them? Mm -hmm. What, what? Huh? Am I going to get sick? I don't have any blankets to give me warm or any money to buy blankets. I can't even light a fire in my tree because it would burn down. Oi, oi, oi. Then I would be cold, sick, and homeless. But I suppose I've got lots of fur on me, and that helps to keep me warm. What, what? Yes! <laughs> now, Gloria, can't we do anything to help? Hmm. We could collect wood and make fires to keep them warm. It would take us too long to do that every day. Maybe we can make hot water bottles for them. But aren't they a bit expensive? How about knitting? What about knitting? Well, my granite squares for the church. They sew the squares together to make blankets. Blankets, that's a good idea. But I can't knit. You can't knit? No, I can't. <laughs> but I bet Dolly can't either. It's not true, I can knit. My mother showed me how to. So we can knit and Andrew can sew the squares together. What do you think, Mark Gloria? I think that's a wonderful idea. You know, you lot are so thoughtful. And I think it will really help people. But I think you should do it properly, though, and start with a project plan. A project plan? You mean like the projects we do in school? Well, not really. Let's ask the old tree to explain for us. Hello, everyone. I think that's a really good thing you're going to do. Making blankets to help poor people. So, if you want to have a project plan, you need to understand the two words. A project is something that you want to achieve, an end result. It could be to build a house, build big muscles, or, as in this case, knit blankets. A plan is how we're going to achieve or get to the end result. Where are we going to get the wool? How big are the blankets going to be? How many blankets are we going to knit? And who is going to knit the blankets? In summary, a project is what we want to make, and a plan is how we are going to make it. I hope that's clear. Thanks, old tree. I'm sure that's all very clear now, hmm? Mm -hmm. I think we should write our project plan down on the menu board. Is that okay, Mark Gloria? Yes, of course you can. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, thanks, Mark Gloria. What colour should we make the blankets? I like blue. I like blue. And I like yellow. We all like different colours, so why don't we knit lots of different coloured squares and make multicoloured blankets? Good, Good idea. idea. What size should the blankets be? I'll measure my blankets when I get home. OK, and how many blankets do you make? Oh, no, now we have a problem. What? We need to buy the wool. Oh, I 
forgotten all about that. Um, we can't always raise money. How can we do that? I've got an idea. The Jungle Cafe is always busy. We could always explain your project plan to them and then ask them to contribute something towards it. Yeah. Do you yeah. think they would? Of course, I'm sure all of them would. It's a good idea, but where would we keep the money and let the customers know about the cause? And where who to give the money to? We could always get a tin of some sort and ask the customers to put money in it. I've got something much better. We can Whoa. use this. Something nice and see-through so we can see our coins. We can make a slot in the lid and the customers can come in and put the money inside. Wow, it's so big. How much money can it hold? Well, I don't know, but we could estimate. Estimate? Well, an estimate is like a guess, but you always need a little bit extra information to help. Like? Um... Ta-da! Let's have a look at this jar. That one is so much smaller than the others. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. But I've got a very clever plan. Now let's start counting the money. I'll count them. Hmm? Oh, but Grace, there's a difference between counting the number of coins and their value. What do you mean, Mom, Gloria? Well, the number of coins doesn't actually tell you how much money is in the jar. It only tells you how many coins are in the jar. Oh, yes, I get it. Okay, that's five, ten, twenty, twenty, thirty, thirty, forty, forty, fifty, sixty, sixty, seven, eighty, eighty, five, nineteen, eighty, five. One minute. Hey, Mavin. Yes, Mavin. Where's all the spare paper? Uh, it's in the cupboard. Why? Well, I'm going to draw up a plan. Ah, you've never had a plan in your life. Everything happens by accident. You accidentally ate all our winter supplies last year. You accidentally forget to, to help me make dinner. Accidentally forget to come home when I'm cleaning our house. How can you be so mean, eh? Accidents happen all the time, yeah? Mm-hmm. Anyway, what is this plan? Oh, <laughs> it's a plan of my project. And what is your project? Oh, I'm trying to work something out. You know, uh, using a proper plan and all that. And what is your plan? <laughs> yeah, I'm working out how many marula berries I can eat in one night. Oh, I might have known it would have something to do with your stomach. Oh, but it's got nothing to do with my stomach. I'm going to eat the berries. Yes, Marvin, when you... Oh, I give up. Good! <laughs> How much money is in the little jar? Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rand and sixty cents. So how does that help us estimate how much is in the big jar? Right. Dali, would you bring me that bucket of sand over there? Are we going to estimate how many grains of sand are in the bucket? No, we're not. Does anyone know what we're going to do? I'm lost. Wait a minute. Are you going to see how many little jars can go into the big jar? Exactly. What? I'm going to fill this up with sand and then pour it into the big jar. And then we're going to know how many little jars there are in the big jar. Multiply the what? The seven rand sixty. Sixty. The seven rand sixty by how many jars they are? Exactly. But now, Gloria, the money we get in the big jar might not be the same as in the small jar. We might get more more silver money and less brown money. Yes, that's true. But remember, this is only an estimate. Okay, so the big jar holds eleven. 12 of the little ones. So then, that means 12 times 7 rand 60, which gives us 91 rand and 20 cents. But we might get even more than that? Yes, you might. Cool. So now all 
we have to do is make a label for the jar and make a hole in the lid and then wait and see. That's right. Winter is so very cold. I don't need a blanket when I've got all this fur. I really hope the safari kids manage to raise enough money to buy wool to need blankets. Hey, I'm sure people would be very grateful. What, what? Yeah. <sighs> See you all soon. Bye. Bye. Winter is so very cold. Some money to buy the wool to make life sunny. The blankets will hold the cold at bay, and so we must start. 